Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. Today, let's explore the depths of history as we discuss why visiting historical sites offers a profound, immersive experience unmatched by reading alone. Have you ever felt a chill run down your spine as you walk through the corridors of a centuries-old castle, or the hairs on the back of your neck stand up as you stood in a field where a historic battle once raged? If you haven't, let me tell you, it's a sensation that no book, documentary, or virtual tour can replicate. Visiting the sites where important historical events occurred is not just a trip. It's a full-bodied immersion into the pages of history that brings the past to life in vivid, often startling clarity. Imagine stepping onto the cobblestone streets of Rome, where gladiators, emperors, and perhaps even Julius Caesar himself once walked, or visiting the beaches of Normandy, feeling the solemnity and the weight of D-Day's monumental impact on the world. These experiences do something profound to you. They connect you to humanity's shared history in a way that reading about them simply cannot. During one of my own travels, I found myself in the heart of Philadelphia standing in Independence Hall. Surrounded by the echoes of the Founding Fathers' debates and decisions, I was struck by a profound sense of connection to my country's history. It was here, in this room, that the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution were debated and adopted. The gravity of those moments, the courage, and the foresight of those individuals became incredibly real to me, far beyond the facts and figures I had memorized in school. It was a reminder that history isn't just a series of events. It's a collection of human stories of challenges faced, decisions made, and futures forged. Visiting historical sites also offers an emotional education that textbooks cannot. At the Auschwitz-Birkenau Memorial and Museum in Poland, the air seems to carry a weight, a solemn reminder of the horrors and the human capacity for cruelty. But it also speaks of resilience, survival, and the importance of remembrance. It's one thing to know the numbers and to understand the events in a historical context. It's another entirely to walk through those gates and stand in that place. The emotional resonance of such sites fosters empathy and a deeper understanding of the human condition. There's an undeniable magic in seeing history with your own eyes. Artifacts and architecture, landscapes and cityscapes begin to tell stories, making history tangible in a way that ignites imagination and curiosity. For instance, when you visit the Acropolis in Athens and see the Parthenon up close, you're not just looking at ancient ruins. You're seeing the birthplace of democracy, philosophy, and so many ideas that have shaped the world. It's a powerful reminder that these aren't just stories from the past, they're the foundations of our present. Part of the fun of visiting historical sites is the joy of discovery. It's one thing to read about the secret passages in the castles of Scotland, but it's another to stumble upon one during a tour or to learn about the engineering marvels of ancient aqueducts, and then to actually trace their paths across landscapes. These moments of personal discovery deepen our appreciation for the ingenuity and resourcefulness of past generations. So, consider this a call to adventure, to step out of your comfort zone and into the pages of history. Whether it's the battlefields of Gettysburg, the pyramids of Egypt, or the ruins of Machu Picchu, these places await to tell you their stories firsthand. And in doing so, they remind us that we are part of a much larger story, interconnected through time and humanity. While books, documentaries, and virtual tours play a crucial role in education and preserving history, there's an incomparable value in physically visiting the sites where history was made. These experiences enrich our understanding of the past, connect us more deeply to our shared human story, and inspire us to think about our role in shaping the future. So the next time you have the opportunity to walk in the footsteps of history, take it. It's an investment in your journey through time that you'll never regret. Thank you for tuning into the Ancestral Findings podcast. Be sure to visit AncestralFindings.com to grab your free genealogy ebook. Ask for a complimentary genealogy lookup and sign up for our weekly historical postcard giveaway. A special thanks to our Patreon supporters. 
Your contributions help to anchor our family tree firmly in the ground, allow our lineage to fly high, and keep our journey through history on the right path. Wishing you a fantastic day and happy searching.